Hello and welcome to the episode 270 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today we have the first Hamburg residency approaching its end. Ringo Starr busy judging a beat competition and several laborious overdubs on I Am The Warus. On the 27th of September 1960, the Beatles, in their quintet lineup with Pete Best on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass, performed at the Indra Club in Hamburg, West Germany. In 1961, the Beatles, with Pete Best still on drums and Paul McCartney now taking the place of Sutcliffe on bass, were on the stage of the Cavern Club in Liverpool twice in the same day. After a two-hour lunchtime show, they shared the bill with Jerry and the Pacemaker and Mark Peters and the Cyclones for an evening of dance music. Moving to 1964, Ringo Starr, now drumming for the Beatles, plus David Jacobs, Cilla Black, Beatles manager Brian Epstein, DJ Alan Freeman, Billy Hutton of The Foremost, Betty Hale of The Fabulous Magazine and Linda Lewis formed the jury panel for the National Beat Group competition held at the Prince of Wales Theatre in London. The event, sponsored by Oxfam, a charity organization still active today, was partially broadcast by BBC Two as its beat time, starting from 9.45 until 10.35 pm. None of the 11 regional winners would ever achieve lasting fame. They were the Southerners, the Connoisseurs, the Starfires, the Apaches, Formula 5, the Downbeats, the Vibros, the Countdowns, Roy Stewart and the Cyclones, Danny Clark and the Jaguars and the Crusades. Finally, in 1967, with the editing of the footage of Magical Mystery Tour going on at Norman's Film Productions as usual, the Beatles reconvened at the EMI Studios later in the day for two sessions of overdubs for I Am The Warus. The first one, from 2.30 to 5.30 pm, was an orchestral session, featuring 16 musicians – Sidney Sachs, John Rothstein, Ralph Elman, Andrew McGee, Jack Green, Louis Stevens, John Jazzard, Jack Richards on violin, Lionel Ross, Eldon Fox, Bram Martin, Terry Whale on cello, Gordon Lewin on clarinet, Neil Sanders, Tony Tunstall and Mo Miller on horns, performing a score prepared by George Martin while a reduction mix was also being completed. It took them three attempts, plus four edit takes, to successfully complete the work. Then, from 7 to 10 pm, 16 members of the Mike Sam Singers – Peggy Allen, F. Dutchler, June Day, Jay Fraser, Alan Grant, Dee Griffiths, Wendy Horan, Irene King, Sylvia King, Fred Lucas, G. Mullen, John O'Neill, Mike Redway, Jay Smith, Jill Utting and Pat Whitmore – sang Everybody's Got One and several nonsensical sounds on several points during the song. According to Beatles historian Mark Lewison, after the singers were dismissed, the session went on for the studio staff and the fabs until 3.30 am, with the taping of a new vocal from Paul McCartney for The Fool on the Hill and a new mixdown of the song. Further work on I Am The Warrus will be detailed in tomorrow's episode, but this is it for today. If you can spare a minute, please head to www.simonmas.com support and check out the many things you can do to show me your appreciation for my work so far, and to make sure that keeping on producing music-related material for our little community is less difficult than it currently is. Thank you! For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation! Simon Mas, music you love